Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2015 Jeep Cherokee, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. So one of the big questions we get asked in regards to these Hitch Mounted Bike Racks is if you're still gonna be able to have full access to the back of your Jeep. This one does fold down out of the way and allows us to do that. Down here, pull this keeper off, slide this pin out, and this drops down. It actually goes down quite a bit. It goes down more than a lot of the other racks. But with that said, it's gonna give us a ton of space and room to open up our hatch, get whatever we might need in and out of the back of our Jeep. Once we're done inside, we can close up the hatch. Simply just put this back up into the upright position and reinstall our pin. So it's just that easy. So this rack can hold up to a total of four bikes. And the first thing I notice about it is where it's going to sit relative to the back of your Jeep. And it's kind of in line with the very bottom of your back window. So kind of that perfect spot. You're gonna be able to see your bike when you're looking through your rear view, but it's not really going to obstruct your view or get in your way by any means. But with that being said, super simple how this rack works. It's gonna hold our bike down in three spots. So we're gonna have two straps here along the top two and a strap down here. That's going to act as an anti-sway strap and help prevent that side-to-side -side movement. So that way when we're going down the road, we're not gonna to have to worry about our bikes banging into each other. Let's go ahead and take the rack off, or the bike off the rack. Super easy, you just flip these straps up, swing them down out of the way. Same thing with our anti-sway strap here. And then we can just grab the bike and slide it off. Now, one thing I noticed about this one is the arms are pretty narrow and that makes getting your bike off really easy as opposed to some of the wider racks where you really have to kind of fight it and work it off there. So that's always nice when we don't have to do that. So the cradles here where your bike's frame is going to sit are somewhat adjustable. That'll help accommodate for different styles of frames. And there's gonna be a few channels down there. Those are there to accommodate for any of your cables so we don't have to worry about them getting pinched. The cradles themselves are made almost from like a hard plastic almost. And you really shouldn't have to worry about this scratching up your bike's finish or anything. The one thing I am impressed with is the straps very thick very durable and i really don't see these wearing out very quickly so that's kind of something that sets this rack apart a lot of the other types of racks with these straps are a lot more flimsy and and break or wear out on you pretty quick i do suggest we're not using the rack though just to put them straps back in place now something you need to think about is when you do have the rack in this position on the back of your jeep it is going to extend the overall length. And if you measure exactly how much, if we go from the hatch here to the very edge, looks like it's gonna be right at 38 and a half inches. So something you wanna keep in the back of your head when you go to pull into a tight spot or into your driveway or garage, for example. Now the arms do fold down to free up some space into a more compact position. And the way we do that is simply by removing this pin here. So we kind of pull the keeper off, slide the pin out. I do suggest if you're traveling with it in this position just to replace that pin. That way it's secure. And with it like this, it actually freed up quite a bit of space. So we'll take that same measurement from the hatch here to the very edge. Looks like it's only going to be about 17 inches. So with it like this, really don't see it giving you any issues when you do go to pull into your garage or that tight spot. So the rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Cherokee, but also has the ability to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. So gives us some versatility there. If you have another vehicle in the household with a different size hitch, chances are good the rack is gonna work with both of them. And it's gonna come included with a anti-rattle bolt. And what that's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point. So as you're going down a bumpy road in your Jeep, 
you're not going to hear your bike rack kind of clanking around. So just to give you an example of that, say for hitting them bumps, you can see that the rack is going to move with the Cherokee and not on its own. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. So at the end of the day, a really popular bike rack, and I can see why. Very easy to use, very functional, and well built. And just like most accessories that you put on a Jeep, I think this one is gonna look great on the back of the Cherokee. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Bike Rack on our 2015 Jeep Cherokee.